Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. I got Manny with me. It's homecoming time. PTR got open. Me and Manny have been monkeying with it. Uh, we were lucky people to get invited. But uh, yeah, this is what the first one we came up with. Uh, I'll let Manny go through the list though. All right, so uh, this list is pretty awesome. Um, there's a couple of things that we have to know. Uh, remember that you only have a limited amount of mulligans compared to uh, what old went used to be. But instead, you get this super awesome usurper that, you know, disables the other leader. And a lot of the new strategies are based around the new leader because, you know, people want to try new things. And if you just want to be a blocker, where well, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, also, uh, we run the Witcher, so just be very careful with your mulligan. Usually you want to save that mulligan so you won't get that Witcher. So if you get a bad round, don't panic as long as you throw the, the Witcher away. It's fine. Um, quick things, quick notes. Remember that you draw three cards each round. So remember that you're going to burn cards if you don't use them. So if, as weird as it might look, you might want to empty your hand so you, you can mulligan that Witcher and you won't burn it. Um, also, this, the cool combo that we have is um, you meno, and then you bring Commander's Horn out of uh, the deck, and then oh, yeah. Stefan Skellen gets a rebound. Yeah, you could play Commander's Horn twice with Stefan Skellen. Um, it's uh, Commander's Horn's 15 points, so it's a 30 point play, massive in the new Gwent. So, you j the one things that do wreck it is like Lacerate and uh, the new uh, traps from. Uh, Scoytel, because uh, you are row stacking. But, yeah. uh, and then the uh, my highlight is the Phoenix. This card is amazing. I will be making this my first premium card because it just keeps coming back. It's like a artifact Morkvarg that doesn't lose strength. Absolutely incredible card. Definitely a craft off the bat. But um, yeah, that's the uh, list. Um, we got a couple games for you, and uh, we'll see you guys at the end. Water hog. I shall Phil make Evangel. Nilfgaard great get again. Mulligan. He has no ability though now. Really? Yep, yeah, because we got Usurper. Alright. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, what do we want to keep here, man? Uh, we want to keep the straw. Stray Spala. Yes, yeah, so we keep that. We keep pretty much. Uh, I, think, I think we keep everything. What tactic card? I forget is Menno playing in this. Uh, Commander. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, so, um, all right. I think I think you you're pretty good spot right here. Just keep them, cause we only got two mulligans, so. Yeah. We're kind of in a, a rough spot. He has no ability though. Yeah, they do have to change this lighting on it. It's kind of uh. odd. So what do we lead off with here, man? I think that we're going to just straight up lead with a uh, phoenix, put it in the back, and just uh, phoenix. I'll use this that card is the best card in the game currently. Do you agree? I, you know, I, I as much as I would like to say yes, there is like some kind of weird synergies that uh, that I've experienced. By the way, I will use that that uh, thing to heal it right away. Oh shoot! Yeah. I... By the way, can we take a moment to appreciate that argument? Look at that. Oh, dude. Oh, the, the yeah. tactical advantage. I yeah. wonder if, uh, if Thronebreaker gives you the premium of this. Oh, my God. That looks beautiful. Because I, I, I feel you need to have a premium version of this. Like, it should be there. And this this is the row stack deck, correct? So we want to yeah. grab as much as we can. And we can grab some seriously OP stuff with Slave Hunter. This card's actually really good now. Yeah, I, I definitely... One of my favorites, yeah, I've experienced a couple of nice broken. wins with it, which was pretty so we awesome. it now so it doesn't die, right? Uh, you know what? Now that we survive, we might use, uh, what's it called? Uh, the huh? seventh, right? Nilf Guardian Knight. In, on, the, uh, on the back row, and then, then we're going to buff the Nilf Guardian Knight. Deploy, boost an enemy by two. It's kind of weird, but you guys will get, you guys will get to see what happens, so... It's... So we play it in the back? Yeah. Notice! All roads lead to Nilfgaard! And he gets both by two. Okay. And then you use the beautiful artwork into the seven. And my dog just snore. 
<laughs> dude, it's been so long since we've had new toys, dude. New toys. I know, right? It's just insane. I've missed it so ah, much. They used to tire my tongue. Oh, we gotta that. kill that, right? So do we go with um hmm. Thunder? Or do we just yeah. use Cleaver? Cleaver's pretty still got seven damage, so we might want to save him, huh? I think we, we save him because if we use Thunder right now, the next one is going to be what? Um six? So six is still pretty sweet number. Um let's go with Thunder, just under the three. So far, so good. We got two mulligans. That's the only danger of uh, running the witchers with usurper is you oh, might yeah. end up getting cocked with uh, witchers in your hand. You gotta make sure you. I'm a dwarf of besties. He didn't put it on melee though. He's oh. only got two reach. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the danger of this. Okay, you guys gotta check out where your cards have been played. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now as you can see some of the cards have effects that uh, only trigger if they're played on the specific row So for example that one, he didn't play it on melee, he got, he got punished I'll tell you what though, um, right clicking the cards now, they're so detailed Like before it was kind of like, well what does it do? It gives you what the card does and then it also gives you definitions of each keyword, which is just fantastic. I love it. Yeah. My dynasty will reign for 1,000 years and So longer. he can't make whatever he wants in me. Usurper is ready oh, and waiting. Um, we want two of these round one. Probably not, but we also can't risk having witchers. Well, you know what? I think, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Do we want to drop the... These are no, our only two tactics, should... right? No, we also have the assassination tactics. Uh, it's right here. No, the, the, the one on the, all the one on the left, we have another one of those. Oh, okay, and yeah. Yeah, so we, for that, we'll go, okay. All right. So we can all open with, uh, um, what's it called? Thing. So we're gonna put the, the three, actually, we're, you know what? We can play the Phoenix on melee, it has to be on melee this time. And buff it? And buff it. And the reason why we're gonna play it really is because it's very simple. Uh, our three has a trigger ability which only applies on melee. Is this it? Yep. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, you're talking about the new Imperial Brigade. Huh? Man, like a lot of people that must be like, this sellouts. No, they're, this is really cool. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, 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 it's, it's definitely big points and the witchers are huge in this game absolutely huge i like playing them in uh Scoyatel too because you can uh, play phil evandrel and buff them oh, one oh, by one oh, coming coming Ooh, oh he's got his that's own cool. okay no we might problem. be able to steal it <laughs> right we could awesome. we could steal it with slave hunter right yes we can um so how are we going to do this? So then, okay, so we're gonna the plan is to steal it. Yeah, we'll play the brigade. And yeah, we you gotta read the cards. Like, huh? you I think the I think the the rope is a little bit longer, so definitely take some time to read the cards. Uh, so we're gonna play it on melee. Come on, and Kazel. So it's a tutor. It's it's the it's their turn. Their like. What was the one? Uh, Shield maiden. Shield maiden was in. Yeah. Skellige from the old PTR. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So that's. Oh, no, he doesn't. Lost. He doesn't do anything though. He he just he, he has to, for his ability to work. He has, he to, has to be the biggest. There has to be an artifact on the board. Yeah. If he doesn't have an artifact the on the biggest. board. He's in trouble. Um. So now we. Yes, and we're going to both the five that we don't want. See, so this is kind of like the tricky thing. So we're going to buff the five because we are still the lowest one. So we're gonna buy uh, to the great buff son! meter. And this is, ah, oh, dude, I love this strategy. Well, we don't have any moves on here, but he still might play into it. Do we have a damage? Uh, yes, we do. And um, if anything, dude, uh, this is getting oh damage a boost, enemy by four. We should have put it on here, huh? 
Uh, well, yes and no. So right now, usually people uh, use uh, boost self boosting abilities by you know just the way that they naturally play. Right. And what happens is you can also boost that nitro because you can make him do the units next to it. Okay. So he's still playing into our plan here. Uh -huh. um, Alright, so what are we going to do here? We, don't, we cannot reveal that yet. We could damage this and then we can as treason right here. That seems like it's a good play. We'll damage yes. this. Or we could just damage this. I think with a seven will be fine if we just damage the seven. Nils God. So if he plays one here, end turn. Yeah, you have to end turn too now. <laughs> oh dude, that do do. So we assassination and we pick yeah, we, we definitely pick the Phoenix. No, we, we pick so Nethral to damage this, because it'll just hit it and drop it down to two, right? Yeah, and then okay. we steal the Phoenix. Oh, that's going to be stupid. That's going to be stupid good. Yeah, and then Come here's the thing. Uh, a lot of... He didn't play it up there. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can just... Uh... No, we'll do we just that. still do the play now? Hang on. I think we just pass. You think we just pass? Yeah, I really think that we just pass because what happens is uh, you can do that strategy next time. And then you can do it times two. You can't use it on your leader. You can't use your leader, dude. You got usurped. Yep. He just got usurped. Hashtag got usurped. Kind of a long hashtag. Now don't we go <laughs> now this is where people are gonna be a little bit confused. Now don't we go down a card because we're passing on you? Uh no. Right? So this is what happens. Uh if he wants to activate his Phoenix, he will have to play a card. And we're going to be drawing three cards. He's going to be drawing three cards, right? So <laughs> then uh next round is going to be three cards and everything. So technically at the moment, at the very instant, pass. Told you man. Go super long round and we just want to <gasps> I think we can look at I mean do we drop the witcher <laughs> oh no we don't we don't do any no wait, right? wait, wait, wait. no no we have to because we don't have more tacticals we have to throw the tactic of assassination that's it that's it that's it don't touch anything <laughs> that's what we want all right so we we activate it right so yeah so we activate the phoenix all right and uh, as far as that, what are we going to play? I think we just Witcher. Right up front. Right up front. This will be quick and painful. In turn. And they go in order. Look at that. They fought ahead. Mm hmm. So we just need to get. We need to get four on this row and damage that thing. And if we can, nobody will. It's gonna be, it's <laughs> gonna be lovely. It's gonna be so lovely. Whoa. Okay. So then uh, that uh, that uh, opens our uh, three, and you, we can hit a buff unit. It came in there. Nice. I like it. Commander's horn is ready to go. Do we start going to a different row? Uh, yes. I think we we are. But it just pretty much depends on what he's going to play, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. We like it. Alright, so... So we move the Phoenix? Or do we um... wait? We only got one, so... What if we, uh... What if we someone what's his name? Um uh, 
Stefan. The guy called Rip Stefan? Yeah. What if we summon Stefan? Okay. Play and a we'll copy of the tactic card. Yeah, we'll put it on melee. Because he he has to wait one turn or two. What if he has Igni? Well, rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need me to do? Alright. So no. now he plays a copy of a tactic card you played this turn. So oh we're gonna Go Commander's right. Horn and then we're gonna double it up. I see. And, and another one. Hopefully he lives. Oh, dude, that's a lot of stuff. That's so much strength. What if we steal in the ring? Uh, we could just kill it. We should probably just kill it just to be safe. Okay. Yeah, we could just kill it. But or should uh, we should we just commander's horn and just be done with it? Dude, I think we can just commander's horn, right? And then like assassination and then steal it. Yeah, I will commander's horn. Then copy the commander's horn. I mean, look at that. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, there we go. Actually, then we can move Imerith. Mm hmm And then... The four will damage Imerith, by, and then we steal it. And then do after that... you want to steal Imerith, or do you want to steal Phoenix? We know the mysteries okay. of time Imerith and space. Is for All of them. All right. So we assassinate, or we treason now. We treason on the, the guy to the left of Imerith. Oh, it does to both of them. Uh -huh. Oh, that sucks. It messed up. Oh, we can... No, no, because we can move. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I mean, if we were playing for a professional yeah. level here, he just, oh. he just, he just bailed. Yeah, I was gonna say we can just pass because that that play is so strong. Yeah, double. Oh, Imlarith leaves when he loses. I just noticed that. He's yeah, out. he's like, I'm out. <laughs> Let's try one more because that was uh, that was, we just wrecked that dude. Man, yeah, that's that's awesome. huge. What is that? That's thirty point play. Mm, 15. Yeah, basically, but it was obviously it's not just a card 30 point play, it was kind of a setup, if you realize. So, and a lot of people are playing control, so it could be punished, but you know, right? Okay, oh, we got a Witcher in here, we gotta get rid of that. We keep Lambert, 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 what a pick! Yeah. Everything else look good. Yeah, <laughs> when they have Phil Evangel, that's super punishing because that's like 10 points that they can't use. Yep. So, uh, how are we going to open? We're going to open with Phoenix on range. On range? Yeah. And then we use our beautiful. Oh, is it our turn? No, no, no. He's still Mulligan, right? Yeah. See, I wish that on the Mulligan, that, that clock would be their color. Right. Player Phoenix. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, it's important to use that because uh, yeah. destroying an artifact is, is very playable in this version. So, uh, destroying right. artifacts is dangerous. It's not dangerous, you know, it's very punishing, that's what I meant to say. Can dwarves fight? Ha! The fish person leaks! that one on his hand. I was, I, I was playing this too, and sometimes it, uh, it wasn't doing what it was supposed to, I don't think. Unless you only put one of them in the deck, and then I don't think it works. Okay, so then we, we play our seven. That's a lot of strength. And swing. And we get to assassinate. Yep, we just play that. We buff him. Notice! All roads lead to Nilfgaard! So people know, they must be like, man, that card is so bad. There is some synergy within the Nilfgaardian realm. 
that uh, whenever you go up a unit, you can actually get extra bonuses. So it's it's really awesome. It's really sweet. As far as my experience, we'll pay men uh, back for the persecution. Amazing. See, he played this on. He didn't read it. He played it on ranged, and he doesn't get his boost. You gotta read the cards. He, I, he, no, he's not playing us because then now we cannot steal, man. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do what we're going to do is uh, brigade. Uh, no, I think we're going to play our three. Huh? Uh, oh no, that's uh, Cleaver. I think was the other one. Yeah, I think we're gonna play uh, that Nautica and just hit the five. It came in there. Yeah, he has two reach, so we're safe to play him in, in range. <clears throat> We might just do a pass here. Yeah, 17 points in one card is pretty rough. Yeah, even if you in the in the new Gwent, the new Gwent. Uh, I mean, if you go, it, it's tough to even pull like 12 Nine. about your leader ability. You know, it's like it's it's rough, dude. You gotta. And then here's the, the cool part. This is really cool. That you have to keep in mind your mulligans. Right. Cool. Like I really love that. If you want to be a real a-hole, you play Usurper and you play Lepo, because Lepo doesn't let you... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't let you mulligan, so if you, play, if you are, like, in the mood to just be an a-hole for the day, play Usurper and Lepo, and you guys will, uh... What do we do here, man? I think... I think we're good to pass, right? There do we just assassination, or treason, and knock them all the way down to... Four. <sighs> He can pull 10 points in one card. How? Hmm. No, because we still have Phoenix. I mean, if he wants to do anything, we, we have the Phoenix. I think we pass. Uh, this is the cool part about the Phoenix. He, he becomes an egg and then you make it into, uh, from the artifact back into the Phoenix. I, I love that. It's awesome. Yes, he has, you have to wait on this. So he's got to go a card down. Look, ladies and gentlemen, this is a public announcement. I know that you don't like reading, just like me, but uh, we're gonna have to do some reading. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is... uh, especially now that every card's different, it's like I, I just I think it's great that everything is so big. Like before, it was just like res the card. Yeah. You know, it's like everything is just so detailed in these little like it looks like a recipe from like some kind of magazine or something. And and the other, it's a recipe for victory. Because that is what it is. Uh, but, uh, um, for example, right now, if he chooses to use the ability, he still has to play a card. Remember, yeah, they don't, let you, they don't let you... Similian Vat. Like, do that, um, and then just pass. If you play your leader ability, it means you're using your initiative and you still have to play a card, which really sucks. So he's two down. He's going to be a card down if he just passes. Actually, no, because we have the Phoenix. Well, we have to activate our Phoenix. And that takes a turn. Um, oh God! No Witcher, no Witcher. You know what? Let's let's leave it like this because um, damn, we have we draw all the tactics. I. <laughs> oh, no. oh God! The double. What happened here? My dog is not amused. He's still snoring. Is it our turn? No, it's his. You sure? I think he's still, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah the clock is going, yeah. Look, look, look at the artwork for the Phoenix. See how it, like, it's inside? And then after that, like, it comes like a big one, but it's already... Uh, it's huh? He just passed. Um... Uh, something that is not going to get as much value. I think we just... Slave hmm. Hunter. I think we just play the one that moves, right? Because there's going to be the, a lot of cards, right? Correct. And then, uh, and then with that, we have to go to lab. The shank. And we end turn. It comes back to us, and we just pass. <clears throat> Not bad. We're still up a card. So we could play Stefan. We could play Stefan Skellen. Then Commander's Horn is our last couple turns. Oh, we ripped the card though. That's we ripped okay. a couple cards. We didn't rip a Witcher though. Opponent yeah. lost connection. Here we go. Oh. 
We didn't rip any witchers, though. Yeah, that, that's what I was uh, thinking about that. I saw we, we find when a 10 versus 10, there's gonna be a lot of... Uh, oh, we didn't have to do that just yet, huh? We could have waited. No, but this is okay, because... We just open with witchers, huh? Yeah, we can just open with witchers. Now that's the kind of negotiating I understand. Starting I off, witchers. 17 points. I would like to say that the phoenix looks like he's part of the witchers. He's like, I'm a witcher. <laughs> Lambert's stabbing him in the back. He's like, ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yeah, this card's actually really good now, I think. Trees. Oh. Yes, it is. Especially on like these long rounds. We got a way to kill Cleaver. Or Cleaver is a big removal. This is a big removal. This is a. Rem this is a. Re we got. Yeah, we got this in the bag, dude. <laughs> he's, this one's he's, in the bag. He's in trouble, man. Unless he can. Unless he has like. Sky attack! I don't attack! Even know. Um, we just let that go, huh? I think we just let that go. Hmm. Um... What do we play though? I think, I think we just do Lightning. Cleaver. Cleaver that? Yeah, I'm gonna do It's only two. Oh, it's only two on my on my screen. I saw it's 11. I need new glasses. Uh, well, <laughs> um, this is gonna pull assassination, so. Um, I think you're right. I think we just play Cleaver. Yeah, I think we just play cooler. I'm a dwarf of business. Two reach. So you gotta play him on melee to hit range. Yes. Remember, each, uh, the, on part of the reach, you still, if you can play on range and he says two, that means you can only hit melee if you play it on range. Because he counts each row, including your own. Right. And I never realized how. Besimir is just going to town on this dude. He's like twisting it. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> the, the... Oh, dude. Besimir is like. His eyes are all glowing and everything, man. No one's anyone's got any hooch left. All right. So we just lightning that. Right? Do we. What if we just menno and then we just. Do the. Yeah, because uh, we still keep building. A clever move. Oh, he was a dead card. Well, man, it was fine. Perfect. <laughs> I thought we had one assassination left. I really... Oh, we burned it. Oh, we did. Oh, that's... I see. Lacerate. Who runs Lacerate? Well, we good. We still got two cards left. Now we thundered. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, we should have just thundered off the bat, huh? Eh, no, good. I think I think we're still pretty good, man. Like really good squad. Yeah, we're just gonna be like removal, 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 and hopefully stack so we can pull one more. If he has double lacerate, boy, are we gonna cry? Oh yeah, dude. I, I'm actually thinking of just taking the the horn on four. Do we play? Yeah, I think that that's gonna be the play because if we if we get greedy, it's going that that's the only way we lose. Uh, because from here on, it's gonna be removal, removal, removal. That two is probably just gonna be a two value. I don't think that he's gonna play something so big that it's going to survive double thunder assassination. I think the only thing that would crush us, crush us right now. Slaughter uh, them to a man! Oh. Yeah, we just play a five. We'll take it on three. No, we'll play on the other one. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, oh, the has to be this cold. Yeah. <clears throat> right. And that will be his action. Yeah, we still get, what, three... Nine, eighteen points. 
And then with my steel. Get a steel, huh? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, the lacerate was brutal. Like girls are not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> Good ways better under old King Desmond. So is it, we, we just horn? Do we don't want to? We don't want to nuke that yet. I don't think it's gonna fight because we're going to do a lot of damage with that. Remember, if you play something next to it, we're, we can. Yeah, I think we just horn and we copy that. Even even at that, look, look at that. So much strength. Yeah, thirty points. Mm. We're up by 22, and we got remove or remove. He, even if he buffs this by get the move on lights, look alive. Six, eight. Uh, we could kill this, right? It kills it six, and it, yeah. there's two, so it, it's dead. Wow, that's a rip in the face right there. <laughs> that's a rip in the face. But oh, dude. I, I believe that that's the actual scientific term. Wow. <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Good, right? I mean, it's it's how the card reads. Okay, you gotta pass. You gotta intern. There you go. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of that, man. Like, a lot of people are all like, man, to the end. No, man. Target acquired. Oh, it's only three. That's still good, because now we can get the steal. True. This is true. Yeah, we could steal the the four, right? Water as a poison. Uh, no, the lowest. Get, uh, the, the, get the, the two. two. That's still pretty good. Yeah, not bad. This card didn't work either. Huh? Jericania, source of the best right. goods. We we'll that. We get max value right here. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. Oh, that's how it works. It's on the opposite row. On the other allied row. So he played that on the wrong row. Okay, that's on him. I think we use uh, Thunder the Six, right? No, there's no Six. I mean, uh, the, the Four. Thunder the Four? Yeah. The whole screen sharing gets, it gets fussy. <laughs> Oh, there it is. All right, so that was that was a good showcase for the game. Uh, he forfeited. Um, Commander Horn is definitely back, man. Um, um, yeah, get ready for for new content for me and Manti. Uh, Manti, you got anything for the uh, the wonderful Gwent community? We're here. It's it's homecoming. Oh hell's yeah, dude. Okay, so this time I do have something very important to say. Uh, man, if you've been waiting. For like a change in went because you've been tired of the meta uh, this is there is no better time uh, come back give it a try I guarantee you that the meta has changed I guarantee you that there is a lot of possible decks that are viable that will get you to that amazing crown you know at the, at the end um, as far as I have seen I've seen like 30 different kind of decks compared yeah. to what we had seen on previous when so Give it a chance, you know, I'm pretty sure you will, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, but that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys with more stuff this week.